Hello. In this video, we will see phospholipase C IP3 DAG pathway of intracellular signaling. Let's get started. This pathway is seen downstream of GQ protein. Initial events in this pathway are similar to other G proteins that we have seen in the video on G protein coupled receptors. Under resting state, the trimer of alpha, beta and gamma subunit is bound to the receptor and alpha subunit is bound to GDP. The binding of a ligand with the receptor causes conformational changes that cause release of GDP and binding of GTP. This leads to disassembly of subunits and formation of free alpha subunit and beta gamma complex. The alpha subunit travels along the membrane and goes to phospholipase C. Phospholipase C is a membrane bound enzyme. Alpha subunit activates this enzyme. The active enzyme then interacts with phosphatidyl inositol 4 5 bis phosphate or PIP2 in short. Now, this PIP2 is one of the phospholipids found in the cell membrane. It's mainly distributed in the inner leaflet of the bilayer. Phospholipase C breaks it down into inositol 145 trisphosphate or in short IP3 and diacylglycerol or DAG. IP3 is water soluble. So it travels through the cytosol and binds to IP3 receptors on the endoplasmic reticulum. This receptor is nothing but a ligand gated calcium channel. We have seen in the video on the endoplasmic reticulum that one of the functions of endoplasmic reticulum is to store calcium. The binding of IP3 to this calcium channel causes opening of the channel and release of calcium into the cytosol. The calcium then binds with various calcium binding proteins. The most important calcium binding protein is calmodulin. Its binding with calcium produces calcium calmodulin complex. Now, there are many enzymes in the cell whose activity depends on the calcium calmodulin complex. They are called calcium calmodulin dependent kinase or CAM kinase. For example, myosin light chain kinase in smooth muscle cells is a CAM kinase. Calcium calmodulin complex activates this enzyme causing contraction of the smooth muscle. Other effects produced by increased calcium level include granular secretion, transmitter release, eicosanoid synthesis, cell proliferation, etc. So these are the effects downstream of IP3. Then we also have DAG in the membrane. It activates protein kinase C. This one is like PKA seen in CAMP pathway. It phosphorylates various proteins and modulates their activity. This in turn produces a different response in different cells. For example, Myris toileted alanine rich C kinase substrate proteins, also known as Marx proteins, contribute in changing cell shape and transcription factors affect gene expression. So these are the effects produced by phospholipase C pathway. Now termination of the signal. First the alpha subunit itself. It has got GTPase activity. So it hydrolyzes GTP into GDP and inorganic phosphate. The inactive GDP bound alpha subunit reassociates with the beta gamma complex. Other second messengers are degraded. Inositol trisphosphate is dephosphorylated to inositol which is reutilized in synthesis of PIP2. DAG is converted to phospholipids. Finally, the calcium is pumped back into the endoplasmic reticulum or out of the cell. So this is phospholipase C IP3 DAG pathway. Now let's have a quick summary. Binding of a ligand with GQ protein coupled receptor causes release of GDP and binding of GTP. The alpha subunit then dissociates and activates phospholipase C. Phospholipase C degrades PIP2 into IP3 and DAG. IP3 goes to the endoplasmic reticulum and opens the calcium channel. Released calcium binds with calmodulin. Calcium calmodulin complex alters the activity of downstream enzymes, for example, myosin light chain kinase. 
DAG activates PKC, which modulates the activity of other proteins like Marx proteins and transcription factors. That's it for this video. If you feel this video will help your friends and colleagues, please share it with them too. And don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. At Nonstop Neuron, learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.